you. What's happening, y'all? It's Neff again. I'm gonna show you guys what I did to take out these uh, valve springs because we had this spring compression tool. Uh, where to go? We got the other spring compression tool, the little one you mount here on the top. The problem with that one you don't have enough room in between the valve and the actual like where these things bolt on the head um, it's not enough room for you to grab it and compress the spring this one since these valves go at an angle it's it's hard to get on there and actually compress the valve but I came up with a solution <laughs> I mean I know there's a it's got to be a tool out there but this is a little piece of uh, stainless steel that I cut, a little piece of aluminum, and little another piece of stainless steel for the top. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how I used it and we're going to compress one of these valves so you guys can see how easy it is. I'm not going to take out the keepers, but I'm going to show you it does compress all the way for you to take out the keepers and put them back in. because I. My, well, not me. My daughters just put all these in with this tool. So, give me one second. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. I'm going to show you. I just got in a ratchet and the 11 mil. So, I can show you guys how to put this on there. But, I use this piece first. It go, actually fits perfectly on both of the valves. And, uh, I'll put this aluminum piece right in the middle. And then, I'll just compress press this piece on there and the same nuts for these uh, studs fit perfectly on there the screw them bad boys on there <clears throat> this other one all right this one's a lot easier to go all right so after it's on there let me show you what it looks like let me show you real quick so this let me see if I can get an angle so that little first block goes in there, doesn't cover the keeper as well as it does on the other side, doesn't block the keeper. The little aluminum piece goes in the middle, the top piece screws on here, and that's what's going to put pressure on both of those so you can take out the keeper. So, let me show you how to do this. So you just start tightening. Just tighten them. I do a couple of turns on each one. And it starts compressing. I do one at a time, just a little bit at a time, so they don't get off. Uh, well, I'm trying to keep it as straight as possible. And one more thing, the valves are coming out from the back. So this is what I was doing. Yep, valves are coming out. So I just put a little rag on there to keep the valves pushed up and it actually helps you keep it compressed all right so they're almost out i'm going to show you how easy it is with this all right so let me see if i can get some light in here again let me grab my phone all right so as you can see it's not oh shit it's not uh, compressed down all the way. We still have some threads on the screws up here. 
and you can see how the keeper is already let me get in there yeah it's a little bit more that you turn on the screws and the, you'll be able to pull out the full keeper or the whole both keepers but that's how easy and simple it is with just a few little pieces of aluminum and stainless steel that I had laying around and it was so easy my daughters were able to do this so anybody can get their hands a little bit dirty and get this thing put together let me take it back out and show you what I did again I mean this is no way a professional tool but it ain't done if it gets the work done so see this is how easy it's already off unscrew the pieces again and these BMW heads uh, I guess because the valves are going at an angle it's difficult to use the other uh, valve spring compression tools but here we go again little piece with two holes drilled on it little piece of aluminum block I think this is like four bucks three bucks some shit like that and then this one with some I drill two holes and then just cut these pieces out and it works man so I hope you guys like like the video like how easy it is that you guys can come up with your own tools to get the stuff done because I was checking uh, all over I did see a tool that looked just like this one but man it was expensive so with I think five bucks is the most I have in here and uh, I was I was able to make it work so my daughters can install all the springs and everything after they put in the valve seals so it does work then again it's up to you guys if you got the money to spend go ahead but if you don't have the money to spend get that done <laughs> all righty y'all thanks for watching um we'll be posting more videos make sure you guys hit that like and follow or subscribe sorry and um we'll have more videos coming out have a blessed one peace